Today, we'd like to share with you test-taking tips to pass interpreting oral exams. We have a lot of students who have managed to pass these very challenging tests, and we want to share our experience with you so you can adopt some of these strategies to achieve your goal to pass your interpreter oral exam. So we're going to focus today on time management. It's very important for you to manage your time efficiently. Many of our students are busy people, they're professionals, they have children, so there are a lot of obligations that they have to comply with. So it's very important for you to learn to be very flex flexible and very resourceful with your time. So we do advise that you study at least twice a week for two to three months before your exam. We have excellent interpreter practices that you could use to become familiar with interpretation and with different sorts of court vocabulary. And it's important that you devote yourself to these studies during the two to three months leading up to your exam at least twice a week. Then the last month should be considered your final sprint. This is the time when you have to give it your all. Remember, hard work is your best friend. So becoming court certified or passing interpreter exams are usually really significant in a person's life because it allows them to serve others better. It allows them to accomplish their dreams. It allows them to persevere in their professional improvement. So these are really lofty goals. So they are worth it for you to invest your time, your energy, and your resources, and to not leave anything behind. Give it your all so you can really accomplish your objectives. So be ready during this last month, which is your sprint time, to dig deep and fight to make your dreams come true. You are the captain of your own ship. You control your destiny. And if you're willing to work hard, you can achieve anything. So during the last four weeks that lead up to your test, we suggest that you study at least two hours three to six times per week. Our students have reported that setting up reminders on their calendars is a really efficient way to stay accountable. So go ahead and enter your study sessions into your smartphone and make sure that you set up reminders so that you can be on top of your schedule. We've also taught many of our students who've succeeded with these tests to learn that it's not about having time, it's about making time. Usually there's a lot of time that we might not think of as study time that can really be used productively, such as weekends, breaks at work, lunchtime, wait time. If you're already an interpreter, there's a lot of time that we spend waiting for our cases to begin. This time can be used very productively. Also commutes if you don't drive. Interpret Train has a lot of audio drills that you can use multitasking while you're commuting to work, exercising, walking your dog, doing home chores during your lunchtime. These audio drills allow you to become familiar with vocabulary and to memorize it while doing other things. Another tip that has really helped our students is to be the early worm. There are many advantages of waking up at least one hour earlier in the morning to, to cram. First of all, it allows you to have a more receptive brain. Once you've rested and you slept a full night, your brain is fresh to absorb new information. So studies have shown conclusively that studying the first hours of the morning tends to be much more productive than studying later on in the day. So it has cognitive benefits. Secondly, it also is very practical because it allows you to have quiet, undisturbed study time. If nobody else in your household is awake, you'll be able to sleep without interruptions, to study without interruptions. Thirdly, it's a very good thing to start your day off on the right foot. If the first thing that you do is study in the early in the morning, you're going to be in that mindset to try to take advantage of opportunities during the day to study. And then finally, you get it out of the way. If we wait until later on in the day, unforeseen tasks might come up and we end up not having time. But if we do it first thing in the morning, it's done, and then we could move on with our day. So set up alarms in your calendar to wake up early, maybe twice a week or three times a week to open up study time. 
if possible, use as much vacation time as you have to devote yourself to this last sprint during the last month. The students who have reported to us that they've passed these exams often take out a full or even two full weeks. And if some of them can't, they might, off they might offer themselves half a day for a full week to devote themselves fully to their studies. But make sure to rest and disconnect at least once a week. We also don't want you to be overworked. If you have an information overload or if you're exhausted, you're not going to be learning as efficiently. A rested brain performs significantly better than an overworked one. If hard work is your best friend, success will be your wife. So we know you have it in you. We know you can do this. We're here to support you every step of the way. Fight hard to make your dreams come true. You got this. Check us out. We have a lot of interpreter training tools. As I mentioned earlier, we offer vocabulary for you to study on the go. We also offer real court cases for you to interpret consecutively, simultaneously at different speeds. We have site translation practices that come from real court cases. We offer the opportunity for you to evaluate yourself and get a score, which is a unique feature that is really not offered in any other training program. And we also have an app, so you have everything that you need to study at your fingertips. We wish you great success in becoming the best interpreter you can be.